Hello, this is Brian from Team Fragmentation. In this video I'm going to give you a short walkthrough of the game we made in Unreal Development Kit. As you can see, uh, this is uh, the main menu of our game. Here the player can check out the various controls. And in the About section he can read a bit more about the story and get to see the people who worked on this game. But I'll go right ahead and start it. As you can see, this is a third-person game. Um, I've made a camera system which is much like the one from World of Warcraft where the player has uh, free control over the camera. Uh, the player can also uh, zoom out quite far with the orbit camera. This way uh, he can get a better overview of the game uh, in order to solve puzzles a bit better. As you can see the player has the possibility to interact with the level, uh, there are various uh, switches and levers where the player can pull or jump on, and if he does that uh, a part of the level will move enabling him to get further in the level. He can also throw his teddy bear ba backpack. Uh, when he does this, first he grabs it and then he throws it and wherever the teddy bear lands a big bear will appear. He can command this bear, so for now the bear is on idle, but now the bear is following him. Uh, Joachim, uh, a colleague of mine, wrote the AI pathfinding for this uh, bear. And it's also possible to switch to the bear. The goal of the game is not uh, to make both Aaron and his bear to survive, uh, no. Uh, you can just um, recall the bear back to Aaron and he'll be a teddy bear backpack again. So uh, why do you need this bear? Well, in our very first puzzle you will see that it will be impossible to solve this uh, by yourself. If you pull this lever over here, these two platforms will move. And at the other side there is also a lever, but you will never be able to make it in time. I'm going to de demonstrate now what the solution is. So what you should do is you should throw the bear on this platform while it's moving, move to the other platform, and then pull the lever. Once you've done that, you're able to switch back to Aaron, call back your teddy bear, and you'll be able to proceed. However, if you would try to do this by just Aaron, the platform would have gone up again and you wouldn't be able to proceed. And we've also put in uh, various checkpoints in our game, so if the player would die now, uh, he would just respawn here. As you can see now, the level is uh, falling apart. And in case you are wondering um, what this abstract world is, it's actually the imagination of Aaron um, as he is in coma for the moment. Uh, the level uh, is a part of his uh, mind. So as you can see here in this puzzle, uh, if you don't watch uh, carefully, you'll just get pushed off the platform. So after you figured out the way they move, it's possible to proceed. Now this is a very hard puzzle in the game. Um, it's sort of like the TV show Hole in the Wall where you have to dodge blocks and your platform is moving quite fast towards them. This may seem easy but uh, I've been playing this game a lot of times while testing it and uh, I can guarantee you it's not as easy as it looks. The level of design of this game has been done by uh, Dirk Driehuizer, also a member of our team. Here, um, as you can see, there's a platform in the way and you can see a lever on the side. Uh, the gap between this platform and that lever is too big, so uh, this is actually quite a hard puzzle. What you need to do is, you need to stand on this platform, aim quite well, throw your, ba your teddy bear backpack right next to it, switch in time, recall him, and you have to do it again for the next platform. If you didn't do this in time, Aaron, the main character, would just have been pushed off his uh, current platform. 
And now we can proceed to level 2. Um, I will not give a walkthrough through this level, but as you can see, um, our game is very modular and we have a lot of ways to expand our game. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.